Hi guys, I'm Janelle and welcome to another Logic Pro Tips and Tricks. In this video, we will learn how to use an incredible feature in Logic Pro called Selection Based Processing. And for those of you that have worked with Pro Tools, it's similar to the Audio Suite feature in Pro Tools. With the Selection Based Processing, you can apply plugin processing directly to one or more audio regions in your track and it works independent from any plugin that you might have on your channel strip. So this allows you to create effects or fix audio problems in sections of the audio track. And this will save you CPU as well as it will save you time because you can always add all these plugins to the channel strip, tweak them until you get the effects you want and then you have to do automation on all this. So here in Logic, I have this song and on my main vocal, let's say I want to do a cool effect at the beginning of this region. So let's select the audio region with the marquee tool. And there's a few ways to access this feature. You can right click or you can control click and scroll down to processing and click selection based processing. Or you can use the shortcut control shift P. Another way to access this is by double clicking the audio region and going to the audio editor under functions selection based processing. In this window you have two plugin chains where you can add your plugins manually and you can always use stock plugins or third-party plugins or you can choose from your channel strip settings. And you can toggle between the two to listen to the different processing. Remember when you were. Remember when you were. Remember when you were. Here you can choose how Logic will create a new file of the processed audio. You can split at marquee borders, which will create a new audio file with the length of the marquee selection. Create a new take will create a take folder with the original and the process audio. At effect tail, we'll create a region that includes any effects tail beyond the selection. You can adjust the gain. You can set it to no change. You can set it to loudness compensation, which will adjust the volume of the process file to match the original source. You also have overload protection, which will reduce the volume enough to avoid digital clipping. And normalize will adjust the process file so that the peaks fall just below the digital clipping threshold. So down here on the three dots, you can choose enabling the solo and cycle modes for your preview. So for this particular audio section, I want to have my split art marquee borders. I also want to have my at tail and also loudness compensation. Let's click apply. And as you can see, Logic created a new audio file with the processing. Let's have a listen. <laughs> You can also apply the same processing to other selected regions by going into the audio editor, click on function and apply selection based processing again. You can use the same process to fix a vocal that let's say that has a pop or a click or some noise. You can go in with the selection based processing and use your RX the click or the hum or the noise and fix that section. But I have another trick that I'm going to show you guys. You can also configure Logic Pro to open an audio region or file in an external editing app. And for this, I like to have my RX audio editor. So let's go ahead and set that up. Choose preferences, audio, file editor, and browse for the app and click choose. So on the top bar menu, go to edit and scroll down to open the app that you chose. In my case is the RX and sorry that you can't see it here that the screen cut it. 
As you can see, it opens a standalone version of Isotope RX within Logic. So you have available all the tools for you to edit your audio file in one place. And here you can preview and make adjustments. And once you're happy, you can render. You can add any other processing if it was needed. And once you close the app, Logic will create a new audio file with the processing. And that's a tip I have for you today. If you guys are always looking for tips and tricks in Logic Pro, please subscribe and click on that bell so you don't miss any content.